Introducing Cowall Performance Accuracy Products for FocusAttack.com Oversized Actuators for Sanwa JLF Joysticks These oversized actuators were developed by Kowal, a respected member of the Shoryu and Tech Talk community. Originally made for shoot 'em up games, it was later found to work well with many fighting game titles. Featuring a straight instead of conical design, the Kowal actuator fully engages the switch once angled, offering a shorter throw plus faster engage and diagonal, while retaining the original neutral zone. On the left you notice the Sanwa actuator compared to the Kowal actuator on the right. Notice the differences. This diagram explains what the Kowal actuator does to improve the engagement speed and shorten the throw by reducing maximum distance and angle that the shaft can be moved in a particular direction. The color for the neutral zone is blue, the color for the dead zone is black, and the color for the activation zone is red. Let me explain. The blue neutral zone is the area in which the actuator does not touch the switches, the black dead zone is the area that the actuator begins pressing the switches, and the red activation zone is the area where the switch is being pressed down. The diagram and picture on the top represents what the zones are for a stock Sanwa JLF joystick while the diagram and picture on the bottom represents what the zones become after the installation of the Kowal actuator. Notice the marked improvement of the Kowal actuator over the Sanwan one. Here are the tools that you'll need for this install. A small flathead screwdriver, a large flathead screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers and or a magnet just in case. And this is what your joystick assembly should look like prior to installing the Kowal actuator. Using a small flathead screwdriver, carefully pry away the e-clip used to retain the stock actuator and spring in place. Be careful that the e-clip doesn't go flying off into the distance. Once you have the e-clip out of the way, carefully remove the stock actuator. This is also a good opportunity to swap out the stock Sanwa spring for something different. Simply remove the spring and replace it with what you desire. Now take your Kowal actuator and place it where the stock Sanwa actuator used to be. You can use your thumb to compress the spring and actuator assembly while you grab your e-clip. While still holding down the Kowal actuator, take your e-clip and start it in the grooves at the base of the JLF shaft. You should be able to get it started with minimal effort. Taking your large flathead screwdriver, use the flat end to apply enough pressure so that the e-clip snaps into the groove on the bottom of the Sanwa JLF shaft. Here's what your joystick assembly should look like once the Kowal actuator has been installed. This is the stock Sanwa JLF actuator prior to installing the Kowal actuator. And here's the freshly installed Kowal oversized actuator within a JLF joystick. 